Eric, I know uh, one of the things we normally watch really, really close in the videos is tire deflection. Mm -hmm. You know, how much rubber is actually getting on a racetrack if the tire is crowned, you know, if it's hitting the shock too hard and getting basically a tire shake. Sure. How does that come into play? And what do you look for? Right. We've got 14 inches worth of footprint available. So we want to make sure we use all of that tire to do that. A shock that's designed and, and built and valved appropriately can allow us to control the rear suspension and apply that tire to the racetrack and get maximum footprint, which generates maximum traction. If we've got a rear suspension package that's moving uncontrolled, it's the shock's not able to keep everything in check. Now we're loading the tire excessively. We're unloading the tire because the tire gets into a bounce scenario. So the footprint of the tire is, is changing rapidly traction is not maximized and we end up with a car that's going to be ill handling it's not going to be predictable it's not going to have maximum performance and it all rolls back to a couple of things if you've got the right shock on the car valved properly and, and then something that we see a lot if the tire pressure is not appropriate it's not right for that weight of car the size of the tire the sidewall configuration you're going to have a problem there so in terms of of, of product, you got to have a good tire pressure gauge too. So that's where I think you know, right. Long Acre Racing has really good tire pressure gauges, either the analog gauge or the digital gauges. Very accurate, very repeatable, and very easy to use. And so we can put together a couple of key products here to really enhance the performance and predictability of a race car. Okay, so basically on the, the tire deflection we're talking about, if you have too soft a compression or not enough rebound. I mean, you're both your rebound and your compression in your, in your shock, the valve in the shock comes into play tremendously on mm -hmm. a soft sidewall tire like a slick. Absolutely. And like you say on the tire gauges, cause you can have different brands of, of tire gauges and doesn't have to be a different brand actually, if, if they're the old non-digital type, you know, you've dropped them off the back of your car once or somebody throws it to you and you miss and it hits the side of the trailer. Uh, it's amazing how inaccurate they yep. are. I know I've, I've had guys bring two or three different tire gauges over and every one of them read, mm -hmm. you know, two pounds off, which two pounds on a, on a drag car is huge. Yeah. We, we start talking about a half pound, a quarter pound in some instances, just to try to bring the car around a little bit. I, I've seen a half a pound take a car that was very unpredictable and turn it into a car that is capable of winning. Yeah, you know, just, it's just little things like that are Absolutely. so huge and, and when you get to a very competitive stage in motorsports. Mm -hmm.